take a good look at the dog. It's kind of just about how I feel about SummerSlam. Up here, the most electrifying man on YouTube entertainment, and we are back with the Friday rant. That's right, we're here. We're about to scream and cry and bitch about all the different things that I don't like, but do I bump the brakes? Woo, woo, woo. I don't know if this is so much of a rant where I'm gonna sit and scream because I'm opinionated about something, or so much as complain because I don't exactly know how to feel. All right, so what do up is talking about? is this year's SummerSlam. I'm a little indifferent. And I think there are varying factors as to why I'm not so damn hyped for SummerSlam because you guys know for years, four years in a row, Duop was at SummerSlam in the, what day was that? Barclay Center, right? Up in Brooklyn? It was either 2016, 20. 17, 2018, yeah, 20, yeah, 2016, 17, 18, 19, Duop was at SummerSlam. SummerSlam is where it's at. And well, this year it's in the Thunderdome because coronavirus has got us all down and they've decked out this huge Thunderdome. I don't know if you've seen it. I've seen pictures on the internet. It actually looks pretty rad and whatnot. But um, I, I just, I'm not exactly feeling the card, okay? And that's kind of where maybe a lot of my anxiety comes from for, for not being so damn hyped for SummerSlam because the card, let's talk about the card. We're talking about SummerSlam. We're talking about making predictions. That's what do up is talking about predictions. What are we going to do for the fucking predictions? All I'm doing is getting heat. Are you going to do predictions for Tiffany Avatar? We've seen her in other videos. You guys aren't broken up. This is a work. Yeah. Am I going to do predictions with Tiffany Avatar? I don't know. I, I've seen all the comments on different videos about it. I've read all the tweets about it because numerous of you guys have been hitting me up about SummerSlam predictions. And my head is just like, like this. Like, me and Tiffany, we are broken up. We are not together. It is not a work. We are totally separated. She does not live here anymore. We are not boyfriend and girlfriend any longer. I missed the hell out of her, but it's, it's, that's the road to recovery. And we've spoken about that, me and her together. But regardless, I don't know what I'm going to do for the predictions. I mean, like I said, I talked to her and I asked her, I said, is that something you'd be willing to do if I wanted to do it? And she was on board. So I don't know. Because GTS complicates things. So I don't know. I need your damn comments. I can't get hyped for SummerSlam because I think the predictions are holding me back. What do I do if I don't do it with Tiffany? I mean, it's just... Things are a little crazy right now for your old pal Doohop, and I need a little pump to brakes. Can we take a minute? Crumple into a ball, throw it up in the air, it comes right back down. Put this in a frame, give it to your mom from other state. I'm back, full recovery, don't worry about it. Your old pal Doohop is back on track now. I don't know, we might do predictions with Tiffany Avatar. We're gonna move past that because other than that, the SummerSlam vibe for me just isn't there. I don't think the card is strong enough. Okay, I mean, Asuka's in what, two matches for two different titles? I, I don't know what's going on. Okay, we got, I, I do like Braun Strowman and The Fiend. I do like Drew McIntyre and Randy Orton. But outside of that, very lackluster SummerSlam, okay? I mean, Rollins beating up the kid, street fight, it's going to happen. I, not that hyped for the card. And it's going to be like a four-hour show, right? I don't know, guys. SummerSlam has got me down. What are your thoughts about SummerSlam? Are you getting hyped for SummerSlam? If you are hyped for SummerSlam, please put it in the fucking comments below and let me know. Maybe you will bring Doop around. Maybe you'll be like Doop. Let's get to moving on this SummerSlam because you know you think you know like your predictions. Maybe you think some something's going to happen and it's going to be super damn lit. I don't know. Put it down below. Jesus Christ! All right, now what? I yelled, I screamed. 
Was it opinionated? I don't know. Was it more just complaining? Need your thoughts. Put it down below. So I do not want to bore you guys to death with more of my thoughts on SummerSlam. I want to know yours. I want to get hyped for it, and I want to know why. We need those comments down below. As for now, I'm not going to drag this out any longer. I told you how I felt, and I need your input. So for the next few minutes, guys, you know what's going to make me feel better? You know, you know what's going to cure Doohop's anxiety and put a big old hmm, smile on my face? I'm going to watch the dude. And if you want to, you can join me. So for the next few minutes, enjoy some footage of, um, let's just say he wanted to film this. I don't even know what the hell was going on. He said, Daddy, let's make a movie. He turned on the camera and then this is the best of it. So enjoy that. We're out of here, guys. Like the video. Leave some comments. If you haven't done it already, subscribe for some more do up. And now, enjoy what truly, truly brightens my heart. The dude. Up the brakes. Woo, woo, woo. All right. I canceled that, guys. We're not going to watch the dude. And do you want to know why? Well, frankly, I just got done mowing the lawn. And I'm very, very, very dirty. But while I was mowing the lawn... Your old pal Doop got to thinking, and I forgot about something that was pissing me off about SummerSlam. So I had to finish, or I had to continue talking about the SummerSlam annoyance, and that would be the virtual seating. That's right. And WWE put it out, and you can get your own chair for SummerSlam. And I just think that this is absolutely crazy. I know that we're in a time in this pandemic where we can't be close and you can't go to a show or a concert, a wrestling event like we did before. And this is all new for everybody, this virtual seating, but boy, do I think it's silly. Cause I know somebody that got a chair. I don't remember where they got it for. Um, like, I don't remember if they got it for raw. I maybe smacked out. Maybe it was SummerSlam. I don't know. I didn't pay attention that much to what, but they told me a few of the rules where you had to have the camera on you. So you're like logged in and it's watching you the whole time as you're watching the television and they're broadcasting you in the chair. And you're only allowed to wear a WWE like Stone Cold. They would let that through. But if I was wearing an AWE shirt or AEW shirt, they would, I'd be null and void. I'd be a blank chair. They'd cancel me out. Maybe they'd put somebody else in on standby that they had in the back room. Who knows? But I don't like this virtual seating. I will tell you I'm happy they didn't charge anybody. It is free because I've heard other organizations thinking about charging to buy a ticket to an event that you don't go to. You just sit in front of your cell phone and it broadcasts you in a chair. So it's like you're there, but you paid for that. Mm. I'll give it to WWE. I'm not charging anybody. And... I mean, how much did they invest in the technology to do this? I don't know. But did you get a virtual chair? Are you going to SummerSlam? Do up not. I didn't get one. It's so stupid. Why would you do that? I don't know. Maybe if I could wear my do up shirt, but I'd be canceled. It's GTS. I don't know, guys. Either way. I had to bring it up to you. I had to give you the lowdown on the virtual seating. What are your thoughts on it? I need to know as I sit here and enjoy the outside air after I just got done mowing the lawn. I didn't want to go get a shower yet, so I figured I'd sit in the deck and relax. All right, with that being said, guys, I'm out of here. Like the video, leave some comments. If you haven't done it already, subscribe for some more do up. I want to know all your thoughts on the virtual seating, on what I should do with predictions, on what you think of the card. I am not hyped for the SummerSlam. But I need your help. Get me hype. One more thing before I get out of here, guys. And you know what? This should have been brought up earlier when I was talking about the predictions. And you know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about how hard it is to actually do it as a damn YouTuber. Because, you know, it's Friday. See my watch right there? Says it's Friday. Okay, SmackDown's on later. And sometimes they uh, announce matches on SmackDown for SummerSlam, which is two days later on Sunday. And then they'll put up uh, matches on Sunday morning on Twitter. Hey, match just announced tonight for SummerSlam. I got the vlog filmed, uploaded, and ready to go by Sunday morning now. And I can't do a prediction in a video immediately when they announce something on Twitter. It's very frustrating. Okay? 
I film the predictions Saturday night, put them up Sunday now, and you watch them before SummerSlam starts. They really, really make it hard on me. Back to the anxiety. Son of a bitch.